What if you added a new slide, typed in your title, and then PowerPoint gives you suggestions for a layout with a picture that uses your title content as keywords for the picture? How would that be? Well, PowerPoint Designer already provides this option. So let's go ahead and play with this option and see how we can make it work for you. Um, if you just launch PowerPoint, and I'm just going to choose a blank presentation option here. Okay, and I have uh, this presentation with a single slide created available in front of me. You'll see that I have the design ideas task pane on the right side that provides options for slide designs that I may add to this particular slide, but I don't want it. So I could actually go and close this option over here. And now I can just type in anything I want. Maybe I'll just type in flowers from nature. And let's bring up the design ideas task pane again. How do you bring that up? You could go to the design tab of the ribbon and choose design ideas button over here. Or you could go to the home tab of the ribbon and here also you will find the design ideas button and you can go and click on it and it brings it up again and it goes and finds out what are the words over there. The main words here being flowers and nature and tries to get design ideas that are, you know, related to the keywords that we put over there. So let's just go and take a look at what are the options available for us. They all look pretty nice options. Let's go and choose the first one here. This is nice. And the second one, and as you can see, it you know, it gives a nice uh, uh, effect and you don't have to work much and PowerPoint does this for you. And I'm going to choose the third option here. This looks great too. And I'm sort of happy with this for now. And uh, since this is just a regular picture, it's not part of the background. You can select the picture and move it around. I'm going to undo by pressing Control Z, Z. And uh, you can get a picture format options. You can go and change the color, apply artistic effects and whatever you want. But what if I don't want a full screen picture like what we have here now? What if we wanted a square picture or something of that sort? Notice that when you go and choose this picture for a while, the design ideas pane changes. You had uh, all the other options with all other pictures earlier. But now that we have chosen this particular picture, design ideas takes it a step further and lets us choose the layout and some variations of the picture. Now, let's go and choose this one or this particular one. And now we actually have a layout has changed and you don't have a full screen picture. So you could go around and play with the options that you want. And the options that you get here are not going to be the same all the time. Uh, like just a week ago, I played with the same picture and this is what I got. Take a look. And I don't see these variations available at this point in time. It also depends on which main template you've used at uh, initially and it's uh, it's like PowerPoint is actually working on the content that you provide at that point in time. It also takes into uh, consideration uh, the way you work, what you prefer, and it sort of remembers those patterns and then gets you options that will work best for you. So go ahead and have fun playing with design ideas. It's just going to get pictures for you based on whatever you type over there. So let's just go and do it one more time. I'm just going to go and add a new slide here. And this, this time let's go and add some other words. Uh, maybe something like banking and finance and let's see what design ideas has for us so as you can see the options over here are different they also have some plain options without pictures but they also got some pictures that have got to do with banking and finance okay, you can actually go and if you, if you just want variations of the layout with this particular picture you can just close design ideas for a while and open it again and this time it takes the same picture and gives you different layouts over there. And again, layouts are different depending on the picture you use and what you work. Okay, this is pretty similar to what we used earlier. You can take a look here, but they're going to differ all the time. So don't expect to get the same layout after six months or two months. They keep changing. So I hope you had fun with this tutorial. We have many tutorials on PowerPoint Designer and other PowerPoint topics. So make sure you hit the subscribe button to get notified about new tutorials, videos that we put up all the time. 
Have a wonderful day. Explore more concepts at InDesign.com. InDesign. Make better presentations. Fast.